Bullets. We welcome you as we look ahead to Sheffield United versus Fulham, 3 p.m. on Saturday at Bramall Lane. Press the button. What's happened since our last preview? Well, uh, Jack Robinson, let's do something positive, won uh, February's Player of the Month, a worthy winner. I think we will all agree. And he beats off some pretty stiff competition from uh, Captain Blade, uh, that bloke who headed the ball back on John Street. And own goal, who's been noticeable by his absence in recent weeks. In fact, United only scored in one match in the entire month of Feb, Ru, you, Ari, three times away at Luton Town. But in the last game, we did snatch a draw from the jaws of victory with a two-all draw at Ballmouth. Jack Robinson, of course, scoring in that one, his first Premier League goal. So a bit of a Jack Robinson loving to kick us off because I like starting with things that are generally positive. And it's not been a positive season. There's not been that much to crow about. In other news, after eight years at the club, head of recruitment Paul Mitchell left beautiful downtown Bramall Lane by mutual consent. Mitchell has seemingly been replaced by a Danish analytics tool before a other replacement is found. This is uh, that much, assuming they're going to use this stuff, you know, even whoever comes in. It's a Danish analytics tool, you might have read about this, called Off the Pitch, or in its native Danish, Uden for Bannon, which I will now be using as an expletive every time I need to let out some kind of anguish. Uden for Bannon sake. Like, you know, like if I trod on some Lego, which is also Danish. Other things that are Danish, uh, Vikings, Bacon, and uh, Carlsberg. For example, uh, if Carlsberg did injury time goals conceded, we'd probably be the best in the world. On to Fulham at home. Well, Blades team news we can look at. Uh, we know Basham, Egan, Lowe, Rian Brewster, uh, Reese Norrington Davis, all likely to be out for months. Uh, Mason Holgate back from suspension. Yay. Uh, Daniel Jebison could feature. There's hope over the return to full fitness of Anis Ben Slamani. That's been a hamstring injury. Cameron Archer, maybe he's had this international break to recover from his calf injury. And uh, what I thought we'd do is get another of our Patreons to share a predicted lineup. It was made by the good people at Fan Hub. Thanks to James for sharing this. If you'd like to predict your lineup like this, you can join the Fan Hub community using the link in the description or use the code SHE-YC5. It's fun. Uh, so he's gone with Gerbich, then Holgate, who I mentioned is back in, Anel, Jack Lobinson, Bogle, Trusty at left wing back. Interesting. Vicious Susan, McAtee, Gus Hamer or Harmer, Ben Brereton Diaz, we'll see, and uh, Ollie McBurney. Who do you think Chris Wilder will go with? Equally, if you'd like your team shared on here and to receive a whole host of other benefits, such as direct access to me and support us. That's really what it is. It's just supporting us at the Chef United Way. Head to patreon.com slash Chef United Way. As always, this episode is sponsored by Green King Sports, where football is more than a game. The league season is entering the business end and Green King Sport venues are showing every single televised Blades fixture over the run-in with more than 900 sports pubs across the UK. It doesn't matter where you're based, you can catch every single minute of the action. Football is best enjoyed with your friends. So if you're not at the ground this month, Get a text in the group chat and head to your local Green King sports venue to catch a game of your choice. Don't forget to download the Green King sport app to enjoy exclusive competitions and discounts whenever there's a match on. Let's talk about our opponents. They are called Fulham. No known injuries. However, the squad has been away due to the recent international games and all bar Leno and Rodrigo Muniz were away. Uh, Rodrigo Muniz is their danger man. Seven goals in 17 Premier League games. What United would give for a goal scorer like that? So because of the international players being away, Fulham might see some changes. The likes of uh, William, Kearney, Reed, Tete, Traore possibly coming in if manager Marco Silva wants to rest some players. 
But it could be that we see Leno in goal, Castagna, who I like at right back, uh, Robinson, a former target for Sheffield United at left back, then Bassi, and uh, I always get his name wrong, but Adara Bayo. I think I did all right there. Uh, Lukic, Paulinha, uh, then they could be Pereira in the middle with perhaps Wilson on the right, the Wobi on the left, and as I mentioned, Muniz, Muniz Carvalho, you want to give him that full surname, up top, a real danger man. Just a quick mention. Now, he might not be involved, uh, Tim Ream, but I want to mention him because we know that Chris Basham sustained that horrific injury at Fulham earlier in the season. So a word on Tim Ream, who was the first player to go to Bash to comfort him. He stayed with him whilst he received his initial treatment on the pitch. He looked after him. He was there to support a fellow pro. And I think Tim Ream comes across, therefore, as a top man. And he deserves a round of applause on Saturday. He wears 13, 13th minute applause, perhaps. Who knows? Referee for Sheffield United versus Fulham is Tim Robinson. He's from West Sussex. This season, he's taken charge of 24 matches, issuing 94 yellows. But this is interesting. He hasn't given a single red card. You compare that with the referee we had for our previous match at Bournemouth. He'd given, I think it was six, and quite a few penalties. Well, Tim Robinson doesn't give out reds, and he's only given six penalties. He last refereed our 5-0 defeat at Arsenal. On the 28th of October, 2023, not not a good day at the office, that one. Side note, Andy Madley is on VAR duty. Will that be something we end up talking about? I hate VAR. Let's hope that when we're next in the championship, which might well be next season, they don't bring VAR in. I don't like anyone ever suggesting they will. Player connections, players that played for both Sheffield United and Fulham. Who can you think of? Pop them in the comments. Oliver Norwood. Of course, currently still with Sheffield United, but the others I'm going to go back in the past. Gus Ulenbeek, Barry Hales, and what about Pesh? Paul Pesky Salido. In fact, two of those four that I've named appeared on this very channel, and you can also listen to them as audio podcasts. Let's talk about score prediction, because last time we played Fulham at home, we won 4-0, and I had a gif, or jif, however you say it, made of me eating a sandwich. Uh, we will see if a repeat of that kind of excitement and action happens again. Uh, Adam on our Patreon has predicted a 2-1 win for United. Let me know your score prediction in the comments. And as I already mentioned, please do check out our audio podcast. It is free, and we would love you to have a little listen to that. You can get the very latest, not only on the financial situation, a fascinating chat with Kieran Maguire, but also a Crystal Ball special episode, video for that, and audio podcast with myself and Ollie as we look ahead to where Sheffield United could be in 12 months' time. Hmm. I welcome your feedback and your thoughts on all of that. Until next time.